There are a lot of different universal healthcare systems around the world, and different countries have different ways of doing things. For instance, the UK has a totally nationalized system. Cheerio! Hospitals, pharmacies, even your optometrist. They're all actually run by the government. Germany has private hospitals and insurance companies, similar to ours. Guten Tag! But unlike the US, health insurance companies can't make a profit on you. So that means insurance costs are very affordable. Oh yeah, and everybody has it. Universal system. Switzerland, Taiwan, Japan, there are a lot of options. Point is, if we look closely at another country's healthcare system, we can get a better understanding of how we might do things here. And we don't have to travel across the globe. I mean, we can just look at our neighbor to the north. So let's talk to a real live Canadian. Oh, um, can we not with the props, please? Oh, okay, yeah. Actually, no, I'll take the flag. Thank you. Hi, I'm a Canadian. I'm here to talk about Canadian healthcare. You're here to what? Uh, I'm here to talk about Canadian healthcare. <laughs> you say it weird. <laughs> okay, so how does the system work? Well, we have a universal health system with private care and public financing. Hospitals are private and you can pick your doctor. But your medical bills, they're paid for by public funds. So the government doesn't run the system, they just pay for it? Yes. There's a government program called Medicare that gives insurance to everybody. It's not just for older people? Everybody. You don't pay to see a doctor. All your basic care is covered by this one government insurance program. So what I'd normally get from my employer or have to find on my own in the US is provided by the government? Yeah. Now keep in mind, it's not everything. Prescription drugs, dental, vision, those are not covered. So some people choose to pay a little extra for supplemental insurance from say, Blue Cross to cover that stuff. So there are still private insurance companies. Yep. But healthcare costs are negotiated by the government, so premiums are cheaper, care is cheaper, drugs are cheaper. They're so much cheaper that Americans sometimes buy their drugs from Canadian pharmacies. So to pay for that system, you must have super high taxes. Our income taxes rough out to around the same as the US, and we don't pay deductibles or out-of-pocket expenses. Plus, like I said, our care is generally cheaper. So taxes are the same, and your healthcare costs are cheaper? Does that mean the quality of care is worse? It's good. Most Canadians are happy with it. Not to mention the free healthcare thing is actually doing what it's supposed to do. We're pretty healthy in Canada. We have one of the highest life expectancies and lowest infant mortality rates in the world. All right, don't brag. <laughs> now, I heard you have to wait in line for weeks or months or years to go to the doctor. Yeah, that's kind of a myth. You would never wait for an emergency. If you were sick or hurt, you'd see the doctor right away. When you might wait is if you were doing an elective or non-life-threatening surgery. For those, we prioritize the people who need the procedure the most, say, older folks who've been living with the issue the longest. But keep in mind, we prioritize based on need, not on who has the most money or the fanciest insurance. Because all of us, we all have the same insurance. Okay, but if you had money, lived in Canada, Maybe you'd come to the U.S. to get surgery, right? Mmm, kind of another myth. That's actually pretty rare. Plus, in the U.S., you still have to wait to get a lot of the same kinds of care. And while we're looking at stats, how about this one? 80% of Canadians are happy with our healthcare system. So most people in Canada, well, we don't want to change it. Well, Americans are way less satisfied with our healthcare. Actually, the people who are happiest with our system here are the folks with government healthcare like yours. So, you've got a system where you have private health care. You pick your doctor. You pay taxes to have government Medicare that covers everybody. Taxes that are around what you pay. You can opt for an extra private insurance to cover drugs and dental. And those premiums and costs are lower than the U.S. There's a lot about the Canadian system that might work well in the U.S. Thanks for such a great explanation. You're very welcome. She's great, huh? Smart, charming, and so polite. That's kind of Canada's style. <laughs>